everybody. It's D-Day here. We're going to go on to the Nashville to the Vanderbilt Hospital and we're going to see the neurologist and see what he can't do about the shaking. So we're out here on the interstate checking out the sights, prison bus. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep you updated as far as what's going on throughout the day and let you know what we find out. So I'll see you then. All right, everybody. Well, we couldn't do a whole lot of filming over at Vanderbilt. The parking garage was very dark, but, and we couldn't take the camera inside. Wouldn't have been good. But, as you see, I have my little sticker. I've been screened. A little smiley face. They screen everybody. Now, the doctor had good remarks to make. He has, uh, he has a pretty, pretty good idea of which way he wants to go with the shaking. And it can get fixed. And they're going to go ahead and put the whole diodes in the skull on the brain and put the battery pack in the chest and wire me up. But there's one kicker to it. It's, this whole coronavirus stuff's going on, so we can't even do the preliminary exams and testing until we're sure that, you know, the hospital don't have so many restrictions. With that, we are, uh, that's the direction we're going to go. The other procedures that he talked about, you know, they were just, he, the way he put it, they were one size fits some and one size fits most. Talking about the uh, radio frequency and the uh, focused ultrasound radiation, he said that once you do that, you can't go back and get the NVD. So you just can't do it. So whenever with the whole virus thing gets set settled, and everybody gets a little bit more at ease with coming and going into the hospital then we're gonna step forward with the testing but we had just stopped outside of Nashville grabbed us a nice drink good old Sonic and we're gonna hit the road and I'll catch you up more whenever I get home alright folks it's been a long day and I have good news. The uh, the one treatment that is going to work best for me for my tremors is going to be the DBS. You know the little contacts that fit on your brain with a little battery pack here. That's going to be the best option for me at my age. He said that there were three other options you know, focused ultrasound and a couple of others. He said those are one-time things and you can't go back and do the DBS after you have those. And after two weeks, if you had one of the other options, after two weeks, you realize the maximum benefit that you're gonna have and that's it. So if it fixes it 100% that would be great if it only gives you 50 that's all you're going to ever have so for me I'm still young I intend to do a lot of other things between now and the time I kick off so I'm going for the DBS now it's not for everybody you know some people can't handle surgery Obviously, I can handle it just fine. I've had one t this year already. This will be surgery number two. And I'm going to have a knee surgery this month. So that'll be no, surgery number three that's planned. So I'm just getting a complete overhaul. But I'm going to be a happier. The quality of life is going to be so much better. better. I'm going to be a happier person. And that's just the way things are. Whenever you're not old enough to say, well, this is how it's going to be the rest of my life. And you're not so young that you can just tough it out. You know, I'm kind of in the middle. 
So I gotta have help to tough it out, and I'm gonna get the little help. And he did tell me that DBS can be turned up, adjusted up and down as you need it. You know, you adjust it up so you can do crafts and things with your hand. But when you do that, you have a little bit of trouble with your speech. If you adjust it down, then you have your speech, but you have a little bit of tremor going on. So it's going to be a give and take and a little bit of work to find the magic sweet spot for me to be able to do what I want to do with a minimal aggravation. So with that being said, those that watch for trigeminal neuralgia, this same method can be used for trigeminal neuralgia. They just put the contact in a different spot of the brain. And the guys at Vanderbilt said that they haven't done it. That doesn't mean it can't be done. They're doing it in Ohio. But they haven't done it in Vanderbilt. But I told them, you know what? Maybe it's time to do one. So if I can get that done for trigeminal neuralgia in the same visit, or at least talk to the surgeons about it, then that's going to be a big plus to get rid of shaking, put more or less, and to get rid of pain at the same time, it's going to be a just a big win-win all the way around. So, those of you who haven't found the solution yet, keep digging. Don't let anybody say that this is the way you have to be for the rest of your life. You don't have to smoke weed, you don't have to drink, you don't have to be on pills for the rest of your life. There are options and the med medical field is advancing by leaps and bounds every day. So just keep digging. Don't give up, just keep digging. So with that, I'm gonna get off here and relax, cool off, because it's nice and sunny and hot <laughs> outside and plan the rest of my day or the rest of my weekend, however it goes. So, see you on the next video.